Coach Howard here, man. Howard Elite Basketball. I got some heat for y'all, man. I got an unboxing for y'all, man. Let's see what we got for you. In there. Let's open this guy up. Let's see what we got in here. Damn, I do. Break the joint. And what do we have? And what do we have? YouTube sent me some mail. YouTube. Let's see what they got for me. It says you have done something. Basically, you have done something very few people, YouTube creators, could accomplish. You have an astonishing hundred thousand people subscribe to your channel. So what did that get me? Boom! Power Elite Bass. What? Bruh, they just. Bruh. They gave me a basket B. But it's all good. We still love the love. So as y'all can see, I just got my 100,000 subscriber plaque. But I'm going on 200,000. Shout out to all my followers. Everybody that been rocking with me. I got a hot video for you. Howard Lee Basketball, baby. Let's go. So today I'm definitely not going to be in the gym. I'm going to be showing y'all how to work on y'all game when y'all at home, when y'all don't have gym access, how to become better at handling that ball, getting your handles tighter. So make sure you watch the whole entire video. It is going down. Also, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you want to know anything talking about basketball, make sure you just check my channel. I have so many videos that can help you out with your game. And if I don't have a video that you may want to see, just leave a comment. I promise I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, so now we out here at the tennis court. You know, the first thing you need to do is wrap that ball in a plastic bag. You know, this plastic bag, the reason why I wrap it in these plastic bags is because the plastic bag is gonna make the ball slippery. It's gonna make it harder to grip. And in the result, your handles will get better. If you can dribble the ball real good with a plastic bag on it, then you could dribble the ball excellent without a plastic bag on it. So that's what I'm doing, I'm wrapping it in it. I usually use two bags, okay, so I double it up. Like I say, it don't matter what kind of bag you get, just get a plastic bag, man. Don't make it rocket science, you feel me? Don't make it rocket science. Yeah, we in business. Plastic bag on the ball. Nice, hard to grip now. Let's get going. All right, so we're gonna start with some stationary drills. We're just gonna do a figure eight, dribbling the ball low in between our legs. Keeping it low to the ground using your finger pads. From there, we're going to some jab crossovers. Just jabbing hard and crossing the ball over. Jabbing hard, crossing the ball over. This is our little jab series right here. From there, you go jab real hard in between the legs. Jab real hard, dribble in between your legs. Make sure you keep control of the ball, keeping your head up, jabbing hard as you can, crossing between your legs. From there, you go jab and go in between your legs three times. If you're doing it correctly, you should be driving with a different foot each time. Jab it and go in between your legs three times. From there, you go jab and go behind the back. Jab and behind the back. Each of these activities, you want to get about 10 to 15 reps. Jab and cross it over behind the back. Now from there, we go into our between the leg countdown. Between our legs 10 times, and then we close our legs and then start the countdown over, going up to nine. And then from there, we go to eight, all the way down till we get to one. You just dribble in between your legs. Once you get to your number, you close your legs while keeping your dribble alive. This is gonna give you great ball control, being able to whip that ball and do whatever you want with it. From there, we're going into our drills where we're starting to move. Right here, you're just ripping the ball through, ripping it low, and giving your best first step. As explosive as you can go. Very hard, going as explosive as you can go, ripping the ball low, getting a great first step off this move right here. Then from there, we're going to our skips. You're just skipping one, two, cross, one, two, cross. Just skipping side to side while crossing the ball over. Give it a good cross, good skip. 
Keep your feet separated. Don't let your feet cross. Try to speed it up if you can. Watch the footwork. One, two, cross. One, two, cross. Easy. From there you go, skips into the between the legs. So one, two in between the legs. One, two in between the legs. You're adding it in between the legs with the skip. It's really about the footwork. You just gotta watch the feet. They land together. One, two. Then you go behind the backs with the skips. Basically the same thing. Now these are a little tough if you mess up. You see I even messed up here, it's okay. Slam the ball down and go right back at it. Just that simple. Behind the backs with the skips. It's all about the footwork. And there you go, in and out crossover. In and out crossover, staying low. You wanna keep the dribble by your knee or below your knee. See how low I'm dribbling, going hard as I can. In and out cross, in and out cross. Basically like the skips almost. Pushing out in front. Stepping one, two, then crossing it hard in front of you. Pushing out in front, stepping one, two, cross it right in front of you. Watch the footwork. Push between the legs, one, two, cross it right in front of you. Now this is my favorite part of the drill. You just put combos together. This anybody can do. You just act like you're in the game and just throw as many moves as you can. This is my favorite part of the drill. You want to do this for about 10 to 15 minutes. This is what really helps your handles get tight. Just playing around with the ball, experimenting with what you can do with it. Even if it's things you wouldn't really do in the game, just play around with the ball. It'll get you more savvy. Everything I'm doing right here, I'm doing it with a plastic bag on the ball. Just playing around with the ball, pushing myself, seeing what I can do. All right, so we back. Just finish up that dribbling workout. Now make sure you work hard on every single one of those moves. Put it like 10 to 15 reps on each one of those moves and you will get better. It's not gonna happen in one workout. It's gonna probably take you three or four before you start seeing some big, big improvement. But as long as you grind it hard, you will get better. That's Coach Howard, Howard Lee Basketball. Let's go. Shaking.